<laughs> all right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man, Grill. All right. Headed to my first of six signings today. Um, man, I got, I'm, I'm stacked hard. I'm stacked hard. I got, I think I got a one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. <laughs> back to back so i got the i got a 10 o'clock that i'm getting ready to go to then i got one o'clock two three and a four o'clock back to back um the four o'clock i don't have the documents for that and i don't have the f f the documents for my seven o'clock so i got six like i had six the other day um hopefully these last two i'll be able to do so my six won't turn into four um and this was crazy is that right now, if nothing else changes, I'm at I'm currently at 82 for the month. So if I turn around and I do. Um, yeah, if I don't do anything else, I have 82 for the month, nothing cancels. I'm good. Um, but if I could have kept those three for Monday. Oh, man, that would have been awesome. Yeah, that those three on Monday that got canceled because I had six on Monday. And that would have been that would have been cool to me. To me, it would have been cool to start off, to start, you know, to start the weekday, you know, the work week Monday with six and then end with six. But it just didn't work out that way. Um, and that's why I said, you know, appointments come, they go. And y'all know I ain't, I ain't fibbing on you. So got to stop for the light. I ain't fibbing on you. You know, if I say I got six, I got six. I got like I said, I got four of them all together right now. Um, so I got a little bit of gap from the 10 to the one. So after I do the 10 o'clock, then I'm gonna go do some, um, I got two house inspections. I'm gonna go knock out. Um, the house inspections been popping this month. Um, I think I'm, I've done probably close to 50 house inspections. Yeah, I've done about 50 house inspections this month. Um, I know I got 44 from one and then probably another nine or 10 from another one. So, yeah, I'm at 50 or a little more than 50 house inspections. And um, and it's hard sometimes because I just have to find time. And I had to turn down some house inspections because logistically, I just wasn't going to be able to do them. You know, um, there was some that came in that would be due today. I didn't have time yesterday. So when they came in, I was already in the midst of doing my appointments for yesterday. I had um, three, but the rain delayed in the house inspection that I was already working on. So raining in the morning delayed me from going out doing my other house inspections, get those done. So I had to squeeze those in to the best of my ability at the end of the day, glad it's summertime and the sun wasn't going down until 8 30 so i had time after my um four o'clock or whatever o'clock it was i did five o'clock yeah five o'clock and i was able to get the um yeah had a five o'clock got everything dropped off and was able to get them done so man um that's why you know if you're going to do this full time you really got to make sure your family structure is right your wife your husband your kids your cat dog and all everybody you know can support what you're doing um so that you can get out there and do things you know like today like i gotta cut the grass and this morning my son i didn't even ask him he got up was cutting the grass you know so that helps me out you know and i mean i you know my kids they see how tired i am and um so they helped out cut the grass the wife she's helping out with some stuff you know um the, my fellow sons they'll put the trash out bring it in so you know the family you know they see what i'm doing for them and in turn they do what is necessary so that i can um be able to do what i need to do so i'm very grateful for that very very grateful for that um and everything so it's just getting out here and finding a way to make this thing happen but you know when you're full time in anything, you just got to be committed to it. And that's why I did that video yesterday, part one, you know, how to make money as a notary. You know, you just got to get all those obstacles out of the way. Everybody got all this stuff. They try to focus on one thing. I mean, just like in any relationship, focus on the one thing, get that one thing solidified. 
And sometimes that one thing can be enough for you. It can. That one thing can be enough for you. When you start tinkering with too many different things, that can cause a problem. It can, it can, somebody's going to get neglected. Something's going to get neglected. So at some point in time, you can bring other things in. And then depending on what you're doing, some things don't need to be mixed with each other. Some things don't need, some things just need all of your attention in order for it to be successful. It does. And, um, and that's how I look at this business that I'm doing for my life. Not for yours, but for mine. What I'm doing needs my full attention. And as long as I give it the attention that it needs, it gives me the opportunity. There's times where it says, okay, after your 10 o'clock, you got till one o'clock before your next appointment, you can go do your house inspections. It's okay, Grip, go ahead and do those and make some money doing that. But when it's time for me, but when it's time for that notary assignment, you do that notary assignment. You get that done. And I'm like, okay, oh, I got these notary assignments. That's why I couldn't take those other house inspections that came because logistically where they was located at, I knew there was no way I was going to be able to get over there. I knew I could have got up early this morning to do it, but I knew I was going to have to stay up late last night getting my documents prepped for today. So I'm like, there's no way I'm going to have the energy to get up at six in the morning after going to bed about two and go do those. I said, I'm going to be way, I'm going to be worn out and be way too tired. So I said, you know what? Let me, let me do what I can do right now and just be happy and satisfied and not feel bad that I'm not pop locking with all of this other stuff like everybody else says I should be. Let me do what I need to do for me and everything else to be okay. So I got some time before my next appointment. I'm just pulling over here in this bowling alley. Me and I like me and the family like going bowling. We might we need to do that again. We need I didn't like that other bowling alley we went to, Apex. It was it was nice. It had all these little ooh, funky fancy games, but I don't know, maybe it was just too many people in there. It was just like, ugh, you know, you're just all over top of each other. And it was a gaming area in back in that game room area. Everything was just a little too loud and just, you know, yeah. You know, like when we go out, we just like to be us and everything. Um and not four hundred thousand people and all that other extra noise. But you just get out here and do what you gotta do, you know. Um and give the attention to what you got until you get it to a point that you can share your attention with something else. That's how you develop multiple streams of income. You just don't hop out here, start a notary business, start a training business, start doing all of this other stuff. You take it one step at a time. And if you think about it, and I'm in this industry and what we're doing mobile notary, you want to just, uh, notary slash the mobile notary aspect. You notice not too many people are doing the loan closing, this, that, 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 that the loan closing, the estate planning, the apostille, the general. Notary. They're doing one or two of each one of those areas. It's hard to do all of that. Well, I ain't doing no more loan closing. They stop and then I'm going to just do all the apostille. I ain't doing more apostille. I'm going to just do general notary work. Even within what we're doing, even the people who are teaching, the people who are hardcore trying to do these training things and mentoring, they slow down doing the loan closes. They slow down just doing notary work altogether. Why? Because it takes time to do all any of that. Being a trainer, trying to be an influencer, trying to make two hundred thousand dollars a year off of people buying stuff from you takes time and effort and attention. And if you're not willing to put the time, effort and attention in it, it's not going to make you money. And I don't understand why y'all don't see that. So all of these people who are telling you, hang with me, follow me, look at me. You're looking at them as they're making money off of what they're selling you. Because at some point in time, they get tired of doing the loan closings and I don't want to be in people's houses. I don't like their cats. I don't like their dogs. I don't like their squirrels and all that kind of stuff. 
And then they turn around and be like, okay, let me share with you. Let me sh 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 show you. Here's, hey, look, $45 a month. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Times 250 people. Why do I need to do loan closings? And I'm not saying they're wrong for doing that. What I'm saying is you got to understand the game. Because then you say, hmm, if they make it time two square root, carry the two, multiply it and divide it by pi. I ain't doing these loan closings no more. And now you want to be like them. And then you people you bring in and then they want to be like you while you being like them while they're being like somebody else. And all along, there's all this notary work out here that's just being left undone. And nobody wants to do the notary work. And it's difficult being a trainer, developing materials and stuff, because the moment you put it out there, somebody's trying to steal it. The moment you put somebody's trying to steal it. That's what they do. Y'all saw the video I did a couple of, about two years ago of the young lady stole my material and others notary material, put it behind a paywall and had people paying her for access to our free content, at least my free content. And I'm sitting here like, and you know what she told me? Well, I just figured, you know, I saw those other girls doing it out there. You know, I figured I'm like, mm, I can do it, too, because I'm more articulate than them. They don't even know how to talk proper. And I know how to talk. And I know and I know how to train. So, shoot, I do it. And I'm like, OK, then why you didn't develop your own? Why did you feel you had to take mine and not even give me credit for it to even talk to me and ask me? But that's what's going on. So. Just go out here and do this business, y'all. Stay in your lane. Stop getting starry eyed. Stop trying to be like these other people. Because for some of y'all, y'all y'all barely committed <laughs> committed to your own personal relationships that you got. You need to get that straight sometimes before you even try to do a business and everything. But let me go on out of here, y'all. Um, hope this video. Oh, boy, they just be making all kind of legal turns up here. Um, let me go out here and uh, get this day started. But, yeah, um, I'll probably do a couple of series of videos maybe during the day if I can. Um, and I'm hopefully I won't be too worn out by the end of the day to do Fritter Friday later this evening. Um, Mrs. G says she, if she, um, can, she's going to try to hop on with us tonight and everything. It's been a while since me and her got on there together. So, um, she's on, on break right now. So she's going to try to, she's doing some, um, house remodeling and cleaning up and, um, We'll probably, I know I'm, I should do it for the Friday night and more likely she'll probably hop on also. Um, if she's not too tired from doing all the housework and everything, because we've been so busy, we hardly get a chance sometimes to just sit down and just organize things, get papers shredded and thrown out and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's what she's going, that's what she's doing um, today. And we've been doing for the last week and a half, just getting things cleaned up and straightened up and old stuff out and not bringing anything else in and all of that, you know, no need to throw our whole bunch of stuff, 10 pounds of stuff and then bring in, you know, four pounds or something else. It's like, okay, well, you really didn't clean up, clean up first and then decide whether you need to bring anything new in. And so at least make room for the new stuff. If it's pertinent that you have it, get rid of the old stuff, clear it out and then find a place for the new stuff. And that's what we're working on right now. All right, party people. As always, I appreciate you. Thank you for like, sharing, commenting. Um, post this on your other social media outlets. Let your friends and families and, and children and enemies know that, hey, Griffin Notary is out here to help them. You want some straight talk? Come here. You'll get it. Feel free to ask any questions that you have. Um, if I reply to you, also reply back. <laughs> okay. And some of y'all been asking me for my phone number. I give you my phone number. Then I don't hear nothing from you. Hey, how to contact you? Here's my phone number, 757-797-5432. Okay, and I, then I don't hear nothing from anybody. And I don't chase people down now. If you ask me for my number, I'll give it to you. You know, now if you email me, <laughs> you'd be better off texting me. Um, or at least email me and then text me that, hey, I emailed you. 
because I'd be forgetting to check that email sometime. Notary help at griffinnotary.com. All right. Talk to you party people later. Peace.